how to fix slow performance on iPhone after iOS 17 update. So first let's take a look at some uh, basics troubleshooting. Uh, troubleshooting. Uh, first try to restart the iPhone. So press on the side button and the volume down key, press and hold. Then swipe across. And once the phone uh, switches off, press on the side button again and press and hold to switch on the device. A simple restart can often clear up temporary glitches. So here I'm just going to press and hold on the side button for a few seconds to boot up the iPhone. Okay, next we need to check the storage space and make sure you're not on low, uh, low storage space. So go into settings and in settings we scroll down and tap on general then iPhone storage. Now in here double check to make sure you have enough storage. Now my phone have uh, plenty of storage left, 475 gigabytes left. So I do have plenty of storage uh, space left. Go down the list here and uh, try to determine what's using up all the storage space. Uh, perhaps you can remove uh, some apps, clear some photos and videos and delete any unused apps. So any apps that you're not using, you can try to uh, remove it. So for example, PUBG here, I can delete the app or I can offload the app. So just go through here and then uh, have a look to see uh, what is uh, what app you need and which apps you don't need. Try to delete some apps and clear uh, some videos and photos. So make sure you have enough storage space on your iPhone. Next, you can try to look at the background activity. So we're going to check out the background app refresh. So go into settings. And in settings, we go to general. Then in here, we go down and tap on background. Uh, tap on the background app, refresh. And then in the list, disable uh, apps you don't use frequently or that you don't need constant uh, updates. So go down the list here. So for example, Facebook, or if you use face, uh, Facebook a lot, you can leave it on uh, for Google Drive. I can switch it off or uh, dash lane. So go down the list here and go down each app, each of the apps and the apps that you don't use often. You can simply turn off background app refresh. So I have a lot of them here, uh, perform uh, uh, updates on the background so I can switch off uh, some of them. So a lot of games in here that I don't actually use, so I can uh, switch off background app refreshed. Okay, next I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back into settings. In settings, we go down and tap on privacy and security, then tap on location services. Adjust which apps have location access, especially those that set to always. So in here, go down and uh, anything that doesn't really need to use location services, we can uh, switch it off. So in my case, my phone doesn't have a lot of apps, but if your phone have a lot of apps that uh, require to use uh, location services, especially when it always uh, asks for access to your location, uh, simply uh, switch it off uh, from here. Okay, another thing that you can do is manage the animations and visuals on your iPhone. So here I'm going to go back into settings. Then we go down to accessibility. In accessibility, tap on motions. And in here, we're going to turn uh, on reduce motion. So turn on reduce motion. This will minimize some eye catching uh, animations. And we also go back to accessibility and go into display and text size and enable reduce transparency. So turn it on, it say here improve contrast by reduce transparency and blurs on some background to increase legibility. Now after that, see if there is any improvement on your iPhone performance. Another thing that you can do is check for the software updates. Minor bug fixes, Apple often releases smaller updates to 
fix box so we go into settings and then go to general so in settings tap on general then software update and then check for any latest update so here i've got an update to 17.4.1 so tap on update now or we can update tonight and put in the iphone passcode or pin to uh, perform the update either now or later on so definitely try to update your software to the latest version another thing that you can try is to reset all the settings on your device so tap on settings in settings we go down and tap on general then scroll down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iphone next in here tap on reset then tap on reset all settings next you put in your passcode and this will allow the device to go ahead and reset the settings on your iphone now by pressing on reset all settings it does not delete your personal data but reset network display and keyboard settings so give that a try and see if that helps or not i'm not, I'm not going to reset my device settings right now uh, but you can go ahead and do that to see if that can improve your phone iphone performance now lastly, you can try to restore your iPhone as new and this one, uh, this option would be your last uh, resort uh, if you have tried everything else and if it still doesn't work, maybe you can try to restore your iPhone as new. So the first thing that you want to do is back up your device. Now you can back up your iPhone to iCloud in your um, iCloud uh, Apple, Apple ID account and go to iCloud and, and back up your iPhone. You can also back up your iPhone to uh, your MacBook computer uh, using iTunes or uh, iTunes on Windows computer or your MacBook. So you can uh, try to uh, back up to your iCloud or your computer. After that, to restore your iPhone, we go into settings and then tap on general. Then we scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then tap on erase all content and settings. In here, by tapping on the continue button, this will allow you to proceed with the deletion of the iPhone and uh, all the data on the device. So if you are sure to do this, go ahead, uh, make sure you back up all your data and then go ahead and continue to delete your iPhone data. Once you have reset the iPhone, you can restore from the backup to restore your uh, data. Now, some there are a number of things to consider. If you have recently uh, just update your iPhone, uh, give your phone some time, give your phone a day or two after the update for the index to complete. Also check for incompatible apps. All the apps may need to update to run uh, optimally uh, on iOS 17. Also check for the hardware limitations. All the iPhones naturally experience some slowdown over time. And uh, on your iPhone, uh, you also may want to close unused apps as well. So here we can swipe up and then any apps that you have open, try to uh, close them. And another things that you can do is to check for your battery health. Uh, battery health can also impact your device performance. So you want to go into settings. Then in settings, we go down to battery. And then check for battery health to make sure it is normal. If it shows that your battery health is below normal or its maximum capacity is below 80%, then you may want to consider um, you may want to consider replacing the battery or go to a service center and have your battery uh, checked out and replaced. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.